Alright, so came out on the rooftop up here. Why is father all the way over here? It's been a long mission. Look how beautiful this is, though. Alright, we finally made it over here, guys. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. But why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Why let me out now? After all this time? That's... Well, that's hard to explain. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment, of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know, I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. Soon, I hope... I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? I'm going to tell you guys right now, the way this storyline is, y'all need to see that movie. Uh, what is it called? It's got Bruce Willis. It's called 12 Monkeys, I think. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, it's a one giant loop of a movie, but that or Looper is something kind of cool because she's talking with this Sean. It's just, it's funny how it worked out. It's my fault. I wasn't able to complete the mission. I gave you this opportunity to prove yourself. Particularly to prove to the Directorate that you deserve a place here. That will now be significantly harder. There will be accusations that you deliberately sabotaged the mission. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which... It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Alright, so what I was going to do was kind of keep this show rolling. I'm not sure if this is the start of a new video or...
tacked on to another one. But right now we're about to go to the Institute and attend this meeting. Kind of see what that's all about. And on top of that, I just got... Where's my perk set? Yeah, let's go ahead and use the level up really quick. Finally got 17. I'm almost 18 where I can get the toughness resistance a little higher. Um, let's see what else we can use. Luck. I think that good fortune effects to recharge rate of critical hits. Fortune finder. Non-automatic pistols now do 60% more damage. That's so situational though. Okay, intelligence still one of the best things to get. There's just too many things right now. Um, I feel like my strength, if I give one of these maxed out, I definitely want it to be... I don't know. I can keep some of these going, so... Swing for the fences. What weapon damage? Uh, let's see. Men suffer 5% damage. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Stimpaks restore 40% of lost health. Oh, nice. I definitely need to get that. Yeah, that's definitely something I need to get. There's so many of these, though. I wonder how long it would take to actually max these out. Alright, so what I'll do is I'm going to transition... Or I'm going to fast travel, excuse me, to the uh, Institute. Which I'm guessing this is just how you progress the story, so let's get it, guys. Alright, Sean's holding a meeting, so... Let me put my weapon away. I don't need to kill anybody right now. It's fun. It's kind of funny you can see him walking around because the little icon moves. Oh, one more up. Let's go. All maintenance requests should be Sean, to the facility. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's well, it's important. I know it's like the holidays right now. I just want to hope you guys. Uh, I want to tell you guys. I hope you have a wonderful. If you do like Thanksgiving and stuff, uh, just stay safe. Traveling or wherever you go, or if you just sit at home like me and eat nonstop. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's well, it's important. This is about to change the whole story. I just got a feeling. Can I sit anywhere? I love this outfit though. It's pretty badass. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Uh, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the company. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? What's phase three? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply 
The activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren. It is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Can't please, be serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. The Institute's future is taking root It might right take a while here. to learn where everything is. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead, for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Probably the shortest mission of the game right there, just go to a meeting. Oh, we leveled up too. Let's get it, guys. Go ahead and use this on... I don't know. I feel like I should get like the main ones done first. I don't know. Let me just see what else we got. Since I'm 18, I really want to do the damage resistance by 30. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Been talking about it every video, it seems like. Uh, let's see what's going on down here. From what I've gathered... Okay. Started mass fusion speak with Ali Fillmore. Can I just hop down? Failed trade craft. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. 
What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I promise to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I trust myself more. So, are you gonna put up a stink, or can we get moving? Is that really necessary? I'm sure I could handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Since all these missions kind of flow together, I'm just gonna... I have no idea where I'm starting and stopping these videos, but I'm just gonna kind of keep... I guess keep on going. That should just open Father up, right? Let's see the button. Our he is our creator. There we go. So what I'll probably wind up doing is I'll probably beat the main story and then I think like the Brotherhood has their own ending. All these different like side things have an ending as well. So I'll probably just after the main story is over I'm pretty sure you can keep playing. If it's anything like Fallout 3 or New, New Vegas was kind of the same way. I don't think I've really talked about that much. You just see that change on us. What the hell is going on? This is where we were several videos back. Permanent enemy. Ooh. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna do nothing. Hang on one second. Let me check my quest. Yeah, let me let me just check this. Mass fusion. I'm just trying to see what all I have available that I can do. Anything that might that's something I could easily complete. Some side missions. Talk to settlers. I don't want to be an enemy to the Brotherhood, though. I might have to do some research and kind of see exactly what to do for the next video. So with that being said, I love you guys. I'm going to try to figure out the best course of action for this point forward. I'm going to do nothing for now, though. So stay classy, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Peace out.